Hi, I'm Dan Franklin, and today I want to share with you some math vocabulary activities and games that I've used in my, I've actually used in my science class, but I think that, and they will, will work in, in other classes, but I want to show them to you in a math context. Now, most of these, especially when you start applying the game aspect of them, work best in groups of two or three students, but you can do it as individuals, one person, especially if you're getting them to write out some of the, 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 the procedures and things that I'm going to show you in the other videos. Um, something that works great with these, if you, especially if you do them as a game, if you use a reward system, like if you use positive behavior interventions and support kind of a system at your school, or if you have reward tickets or punch cards or whatever it is that you use, you can also make some of the boring vocabulary things that we encounter sometimes in school, you can make it exciting for them. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're, I'm going to go through each one of these in a separate video and right now I'm going to give you a brief overview but that way you can pick and choose which video you want to focus on. So the first one that we're going to look at is categories which is pretty common. Basically you write words across the top and then you in the authentic game you write random letters and then you try to fill in if this is a sports thing what sports word starts with the letter A. But I'm going to show you that there's ways you can tweak that so you get more uh, content specific words out of students as they go, depending on how you want to do it. Um, that one's really good for individual work if that's what you're looking for. Password and taboo, this is generally where someone has a card and they read the word. So in this case they read slope, and but they don't read it out loud, they read it and then they try to give clues and their partner guesses the word. Um, but I'm going to show you a way I hope that it will work for you where you can use this actually uh, use individual work with this to kind of set this game up and prepare the battlefield if you will um, to kind of play this game. Okay. Um, the only taboo, the password is just guessing is saying a phrase and describing the word. Taboo is where you're going to see words that you're not allowed to say. So for slope, students might say rise over run because that's the definition, even though they don't know what rise over run means. So with the slope and with taboo, you could write rise over run or rise to run and the person giving the run, not Russ, run, giving the clues can't say those words. Okay, I'm going to show you some different ways you can do that. Pictionary I like um, because you can give them a word like slope and then they have to draw it. Um, and then the other person has to guess what they're getting at. With something like that, you can get very conceptual. I mean, there is the battle between, uh, do we want them to do calculations and solve things? Or do we want them to kind of get the general idea and the conceptual idea of what the words actually represent? So, if you will, if you click on the, the link I'm going to provide for you and go to the video that you would like to see. And... And then I'll, I'll be seeing you in those videos. So thank you.